Okay, we've just created UI toolbar and we've positioned buttons on this toolbar and we have set system icons on each of this button. Rewind, play and fast forward. In this video, we will make these buttons tappable and we will change the button icon to a different one programmatically once it's tapped. I will now hide the right side panel and then I will select view controller and open it in assistant editor. Here's my Swift code for this view controller. And I will also hide the left side panel so that I get some more space. And let's create outlets for each button. So on my left side here, on the uh, view controller scene, I will select the rewind button, then hold control button on my keyboard, click, drag, and drop it here. So this button, when clicked, we'll need to call a function. So I will choose connection to action and I will call it rewind button tapped and click on connect. So now we have rewind button tapped function. Now I will choose the next item. This is my play button. I will hold control button on my keyboard, click, drag and drop below the rewind button tap function and drop it here. So connection will choose to action and I'll call it play button tapped. Click on connect. And the last one, fast forward. I will select the item, hold control button, click, drag and drop it, right? Let's drop it here. We have more space. Connection, action, and I will call it fast forward button tapped. Okay, and click on connect. Now what I can do, I can position these functions next to each other. I can select them, hold, do command X to cut, and I will paste them here below. It will still work. Okay, so now we need to find a label and create an outlet for that label. So I can find a label. This is my label. I'll hold control button, click, drag, and drop it here at the top of my view did load. And that's going to be connection outlet. And I'll choose it uh, button status label and click on connect. And our outlet is created. Let's continue. Now let's go through each of these functions. And then when rewind button is tapped, we will change the status of our label. So when rewind button is tapped, I will refer to my label, which is called button status label. I will copy it, do dot, and then text equals, and then type rewinding. And I'll do the same for the play button. When the button is tapped, I will change its text to, let's say, Plane. And when fast forward is tapped, I will change text to forwarding. Fast forwarding. Okay, now let's stop and run our application again to see how it works so far. Okay, we have it up and running. So I click on play button. It says plane. We have rewinding and we have forwarding. Say so playing again. So now let's work a little bit with the play button. When we play, it says playing, but when we're playing again, it's still playing. So let's set it on pause. And for that, I will uh, create a couple of more functions. One will be func set on pause. This is a custom function I'm creating. And another one will be func set on play. And I'll call each of these functions depending on the state of the button. And the state I will keep in a different variable. Let's create a variable. I'll call it is plain and I'll set it to false because when application first starts, it's not plain. Okay, so now in my play button tapped, I will have to add an if statement. So I'll say if not is plain then set on play. Otherwise, else, if it's playing, set on pause. 
And now I can cut this line of code from play button tapped and go to set on play and change the status of the label inside of on play to plane and inside of pose to on pose. So I'll save it and click on stop and run to see how it works so far. Okay, so let's click on play. It says plane. Let's click on play again and it doesn't work. Let's go back to our code. Why it doesn't work? Set on play. All right, because we did not change the status of is plane variable. So first we will change the status. It says is plane. We say not anymore. Set on play is plane. We say true. Now let's save it and run our application again. Okay, application is up and running. We'll click on play, playing, click on play again, on pause. Okay, so now this is working. Rewinding, fast forwarding, and we click on play and pause. So now let's fix the state of the status label in other functions. For example, when it's forwarding, it cannot play anymore. So inside of fast forwarding, we will call set and pause. And we will do the same inside of rewind button. Okay, so now when the buttons are tappable and we display correct status for each of the button, let's change the icon of the play button. And unfortunately, there is no easy way to do it other than replacing the button with a new one. So what we're going to do, for example, when user clicks on the button and we check the state of is plane and then we need to call set on pose. What we can do, we can get all items of our my toolbar and there will be five of them at this moment. So there will be rewind button and then the stretching component and then play button and then the stretching again and then fast forwarding. So one, two, three, four, five. So we will get all items from the toolbar and they will be assigned to the new object items here. And we will need to create an outlet for the toolbar as well. And I'll call it my toolbar. So let me go to my view controller scene, scroll a little bit here to give space for the toolbar. And I'll hold control, click, drag and paste here. I'll call it my tool bar and hit enter. So we have an outlet for toolbar. Now we can use it inside of our set and pose. So we get all the items and then we need to replace item number 0, 1, 2, because this is an array of items. The very first element inside of the array inside of these items will be 0 and it's going to be this button. The next will be stretching 1 and the second will be the play button. So we are going to replace it with the new and I have prepared a little line of code here. So I'll just paste it so that I don't type. And then let me restructure my code a little bit. So I'll go to editor, structure, reintent. And this is the line that I have paste. So what we're doing here, we are creating a new bar button item and what's important we are setting the bar button system item to play we change the icon of the button and then target is self view controller and then the action of this button when user taps again on this button we want to call the play button tapped which is this function so that we can check our conditions again and the second element inside of the array will be replaced with a new button which has the new icon and a new function which points to the play button tab. And we'll do the same for the on play. I will copy the line of code I have prepared and I will paste it here. And I will also need to bring these items here. So we get items and then we replace the second element in the item. So I'll reformat my code. Editor structure reintent. 
please notice that for on pause i'm replacing it with with the play and for on play i'm replacing it with the pause icon and one last line of code that we need to add is to need to replace the entire array of items on the toolbar with the new that we have created we get the items we replay the second button in this array and now we set all items back on our toolbar with this line of code and i'll copy this line of code as well and add it to my on play button and click on save and now i can run my application and test it i'll click on play my application is up and running so i'll click on play my icon has changed from play to pose so it's playing i'll click on rewind it says on pose so it's no longer playing but it actually should say rewinding so we're going to fix that and if i click on fast forwarding the icon state is correct i click on play pose play pose so now let's change the state of the label when we click on play and then fast forwarding so it should say not pause but fast forwarding so i'll go to my fast forwarding button top and i will simply change the order of this we will first call set on pause and when it's done when we're no longer playing we will change the label text and i will do same for the fast forwarding we will first set button on pause and then change the state of our label okay so let's try it again here we go so we're playing and then we're fast forwarding rewinding playing so everything works now this example was not about how to make an application that plays music it's just an example of how to use ui toolbar and position buttons and how to change the icons on these buttons but if you're building a, an application the one that plays music i have a few examples for you on my blog on the swift developer blog you have to just search for them i have lots of video tutorials here for you for free to use just uh, go to video tutorials and pick the one or you can find videos using the search bar so if i look for for example for mp3 and then click on go it will find a few examples that i can use in swift the play music mp3 file from a remote url play music file in the swift and then add periodic time observer so a few examples that might be helpful for you in building this application playback slider and then code examples how to do different things programmatically and if you're looking for code examples in kotlin i have a different blog that i just started it's called apps developer blog you can go there and you can find examples on how to use kotlin to build mobile applications how to use java to build web services for your mobile applications and it already has lots of lots of examples so if you scroll down i have different categories here and you can search by tag on what example you're looking for okay i hope this was helpful for you and i wish you a great day